festival season is just peeking over the horizon, so it's time to start practicing your festival faces. Today I'm going to be creating three colourful looks that are easy enough to copy, even from the floor of a hot and sweaty tent. My first look is kind of ethereal and will work with most festival outfits, but especially something floaty and neutral in colour. I've already applied my foundation base and a small amount of eyeliner so we can get straight to the good stuff. I'm using this amazing sleek molten metal eyeshadow cream in gold to cover my eye area. The darker gold is brushed on top of my lids and inner corners of my lower lids and I blend the lighter gold under my eyes, just below my brows and onto my temples. I'm using Urban Decay's Glide On Eye Pencil in Lucky to line my upper and lower lids first. I like to go right into the corners of my eyes to really enhance the shape. Urban Decay's eyeliners are great for this as they're super soft. If you make a mistake, you can use a cotton bud, twisting it away from your skin to clean the bit you don't want. Then I layer on MAC Copper Sparkle Loose Pigment. I'm using a rubber blending tool to apply this as it sticks better. Now I use my angled brush and a dark brown eyeshadow to blend my eyeline further. For this next bit, I suggest you raid your arts and craft box. I'm using these cute little stars and sequins that are actually Christmas table confetti. They'll stick on with a little blob of Vaseline, which is what I'm going to use. Or, if you want them to last all night, then spare eyelash glue does a great job. Carefully apply each sequin individually. I find the best thing to use is a little makeup brush, but your finger will do the job too if you don't have one to hand. Apply the sequins randomly, but remember the overall shape. Starting more around your eyes and fade them out as you move to your temples so they look like a starburst. I finish off my look with mascara and by painting the sleek molten metal eyeshadow onto my lips on top of a nude lipstick. My second look is a little more out there. Bright eyebrows were a thing this fashion week just gone, and let's face it, the only time you'll get away with coloured eyebrows in real life is at a festival. I've started with my usual makeup base again, including simple eyeliner and minimal shadow, but this time I've used Maybelline's Baby Skin Instant Fatigue Blur under my eyes, which no festival makeup bag should be without, by the way. You'll see that I've also drawn in my eyebrows a little more using a brown eyebrow pencil. I'm going to go over my brows with a bright blue eyeshadow using an angled brush. You really need a steady hand for this one. My top tip to avoid getting blue eyeshadow sprinkles all over your face is to wet the brush first and blow off any loose pigment before you put it to your face. I'm using the same bright blues which come from this Urban Decay electric palette. I want to create an ombre effect, so I'm using the turquoise blue in the inner corners and the darker royal blue on the outer corners, blending in the middle with the same angled brush. I'm going to use a little of the turquoise on my upper lids in the inner corners too, to create that kind of feline look. At festivals, everything looks better with glitter, so I'm going to finish off this look by going over my brows and the inner corners of my eyes with blue glitter, again using the wet angled brush. The third and final look is inspired by Elmer the Elephant and is boldest of them all. It's also dead easy to create. Again, I've had a head start by already applying my makeup base, but this time I've gone a bit heavier on my eye makeup. I'm going to finish off my eyes with a black cat flick using Maybelline's Lasting Drama Gel Pen in Black Excess. Gather together all of your bright eyeshadows that only come out for festival season and lay them out in front of you. Dip your eyeshadow brush into the pot of water and dry it a little on the back of your hand then brush it onto your eyeshadow. The damp brush makes the pigment brighter as it picks more up. Now in quite a random fashion, start painting little bright smudges all over your eye area. Don't forget to do your eyelids too. Every time you change your colors, make sure you clean your brush with a makeup wipe or you'll end up with dirty brown smudges instead of bright contrasting colors. Keep applying different colors until you've filled in all the gaps and you're happy with the overall shape. I finish my eyes off with a few dabs of glitter applied with a brush already coated in Vaseline to help it stick. Finally, I add a bright contrasting lipstick. I'm loving this Too Faced Melted Longwear Lipstick in Violet, which I blend with Topshop's Matte Lip Bullet in Call Me Queen Bee. And that's me done! So I hope you find my three festival faces inspiring and easy enough to copy. Be sure to subscribe to Mode Stories UK for more videos like this one. See ya!